needing prayers for their mom. And the first thing that I do is I reach for my Connemara Marble Rosaries. They sold out completely last year. We're just getting them back in stock and we're going to be seeing them in the third hour. Then we take a couple hours off and then I'm back for the grand finale where I think I'm going to keep everybody out on set with me the whole time and maybe we'll find some beer. Who knows? But in the interim, when I talked about the sweater that my sister brought home from our honeymoon for my mom, that my mom wore forever, now my sister's daughter is wearing <laughs> someday, her granddaughters will yeah. be wearing. It is a classic button front sweater. If you go to Galway, because that's really, I think, where you can buy the most Aran sweaters, really, it, right? It really is. It's so close to where they came from. Where really, they, exactly. Yeah. Right off the Aran Islands, off the coast of the Cliffs of It's also of the Moor. most fun city in Ireland. Um, <laughs> exactly. But you don't see these colors. I mean, you can go into shop after shop after shop, and you can find Aran craft, but you're not going to find what you have here at QVC. This is kind of a little bit of a sad story. It's good news and bad news. The good news is, don't tell Barry how much this is because he might need a fainting couch because this is $94.99. That's why I don't look at the price. Don't look, look at the, the price. <laughs> don't look at the price. It is first quality. We just cannot get this back in stock. Our QVC price was $170. It's $75 off. And here, if you want more of an oversized look, this that's where I would go up a size or two. Yeah, like, if, this you want, is if you that, want to virgin to the boyfriend cardigan right. territory, I think that's a great move. You can stay with your size that you normally buy um, if you want it to fit more like a true to the body cardigan. But if you want to go up a size or two, do it. Oh my gosh, just do it quickly because this is never coming back in stock. It's a clearance sale price, which is actually lower than a clearance price, which means it'll go up to a clearance price at some point and it'll be higher than it is. Maybe, because we could sell out right now because we only have about an hour left in this three hour celebration. A little time off to regroup, back 10 to midnight, and I want to take you through our colors. So this is green, this is, yeah. 650. We haven't done a solid green. I, I kind of like that you left this one for the most part, solid. Yeah, right? I think it was, it was a choice really to show off some of the, the new stitches that we've been playing around with for the sweater. And it's never coming back in stock. This is navy, so maybe that is part of your uniform. There's only 600 to go around, or you love that kind of nautical or that Americana oh, that's so, that's look. Yeah. Oh, this is that beautiful Bermuda blue, 350, forever. And then it, if it sells out, it's not coming back. We have it in wine. 200 and then we also have it in our dark chocolate a dark chocolate 70 is so beautiful. left anything in the browns have been flying today they really have been but i mean you can't get more classic than this if you look up aaron's sweater in like an old-fashioned encyclopedia or dictionary you literally can't get any more classic than this like I said, um, Katya, you have it in your regular, Q the size that you normally wear at QVC, which is an extra, extra small. And then Scotty is wearing it in the large, right, Scotty? So if you, you'll see it on our, our ladies. So if you buy it in the size that you normally wear, it's gonna look great. But if you wanna go up a size or two, because I know that's what oh, my really daughters good, do, yeah. and you want it to be oversized and loose, you could do that as well. It's Put like- Put leggings underneath it. Literally, yeah, you perfect. can't go wrong with this sweater. And you will probably never in the history of Irish shows on QVC see a merino wool sweater that is under $100. Like really? it's just not happening. This is an alert the media moment. Get it in your cart and click checkout. I think that the leprechauns took the one that should have been in <laughs> front of this and ran away with it, just like they did the pot of gold, but we're not complaining. Right? Just, right just, just don't remind me of us. Don't look at the price, Barry. <laughs> it's been bad enough. We've been torturing you with trivia all night long. Um, literally a true Irish classic. It really, it's, it you really know, is. It's and, right and, here. And something that we, we try to do a little bit different is we're always trying to, these stitches, of course, have this beautiful heritage of them, but we're always working on trying to, of our own inspiration. So one of the stitches that we have on this is, is what we're calling the burn stitch. It's a central uh, panel along here. I don't know if you've ever been to the burn. It's this, yes. area, it's this area of County Clare. And it's just this huge, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a, um, a limestone, limestone plane that would, had glaciers drag across it and it's created all of these intricate little, basically kind of cracks in the rocks. And it's, it's 
there's there certain unique flowers and wildlife that only live in this in this uh, uh, part it's of the world. It's really cool. It's, it, it looks, it's almost like the like surface of the moon. I was just going to say, yeah. oh my gosh, I was going to say it. So you feel like you're on the surface of the moon, and then all of a sudden these flowers are there. And the famous Dolman Stone, yes. one of my favorite pictures of my husband is like posing in front of the Dolman Stone, which dates back to, to Stonehenge, right? Oh, like, really just, it's, I think they were usually three, three and a half or four thousand years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be, yeah. Amazing. And then you're only a stone's throw across the way from the Cliffs of Moher then yeah. as well. Yeah. Just down there. One of the, what we're trying to say is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Right. Well, we're certainly plugging it for it anyway. We heard, um, I guess, some of the QVC Irish um, friends had been telling us like what would they love to do if they went to Ireland and that was the number one place they wanted to visit it's was so the Cliffs stunning. of Moher. A little bit terrifying but stunning. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's a little terrifying but it's really cool. And our own Colleen Gendell got engaged there. Oh really? She did. She posted this picture. And oh, that's well, amazing. now she's married but she posted the picture a couple years back and I was like, oh my gosh, that's I love the Cliffs great story. of Moher. And then I'm like, oh wait, he's down on one knee. Oh, you're getting engaged. <laughs> Yay. Uh, but Again, this is something a man or a woman can wear. I have a lot of guy friends at QVC that there really buy the is, sweaters. There's such a move, like, so much knitwear really is unisex. Right. I mean, yeah. Steve Doss would wear this, absolutely. He would rock this with like, you know, his skinny jeans and a cute little t-shirt. You can put this over anything and it becomes, like my mom always had a little cardigan over the back yeah. of the chair in the kitchen. I still own that cardigan to this day. So this becomes that classic, Classic cardigan. And the, and the men's the men's look for this type of thing. Like, you know that grandfather shirt with the, yes. with the round yeah. collar, yeah. That, with the with the, 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 the kind of like six buttons on them. Yeah. That's what really goes this. But you said our production manager in the office, every day comes in. He has a cardigan like this on the back of his office chair. Yeah. Puts it on as soon as he sits down his desk every Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Um, a thousand out the door. And if you wanted dark chocolate, I'm going to put it down because it's left in extra extra small only. You know, last call on everything. Um, here is the navy. Barry's holding the green. green. This one is Bermuda, probably the next to go. And then we have it in wine. Bermuda or wine will be the next to go. Any special care? Like we touched on air sure. washing, which I'd love you to tell us about the first, again. The first thing, absolutely don't hang them the way we're doing here. This is yeah, just for I love demonstration that we, purposes. For 35 years, we've been hanging <coughs> sweaters and telling you not to, yeah. you know? Um, really. Um, because there's a certain amount of this natural oil called lanolin still in the wool from, from the sheep, um, it makes it a little bit resistant to staining. So really the best that we really have to do is keep them as far away from a washing machine as you possibly can. Spot clean, dab clean if you need to. If you absolutely need to, you can put them into the dry cleaners. But for the most part, what we recommend is a technique called air washing, which is where we say, say if you were at a barbecue or something like that and you had a bit of, um, bit of a kind of a wood smoke smell left in your sweater, um, put a clothes horse out or a, a washing line on a windy day, leave them out there for 25 minutes, not for too long if you're going to be hanging them, and really that will clean them. Apart from that, fold them up, put them in a drawer, keep them out of direct sunlight, and this is something that's going to last yeah. you for years. For years. I mean, it's so funny because I think of like a piece of jewelry, like a necklace that you can give to a child to wear when they're in their early teens, mm. and then they'll wear it their whole life, like yeah. maybe change the length. This is the kind of sweater that you could buy. Like I was just actually going through my closet and I found a little sweater that actually, ironically, I bought in Ireland, but it is Erin <laughs> Craft when my, my daughter was little. And like, that's something that will wear be worn by the next generations or mm. you could buy the extra extra small that's a little big for her or him right now and then they grow, grow into, into it, it and course, will yeah. wear it for years and years to come i'm just telling you we will never have a price like this again this is and you might say well what's wrong nothing's wrong it's just if you've noticed today we've had so many new styles and this particular style is getting retired this uses even more wool because of how intricate all the cables are. Really so there was a good chance that in order to reorder it, it would have been more than $170. And we thought, okay, you know, it's getting so expensive to make yeah. it. We're just going to retire it. This is the buy of St. Patrick's Day. This is a moment to text everybody that you know. And if today you didn't have anything green to wear, go green. We've had fewer than 1,000 to go around. In the green, we only have 350. However, if you really want to be Irish, you wear blue today because that is the official color of Ireland. That is it. It's, the actual color of St. Patrick was yeah. blue. St. Patrick's yeah. blue. Um, 350 to go around in the navy. Uh, Bermuda, 150. Wine, 75. Should I even show chocolate? No, gone, gone, gone. Uh, but like we said, don't obsess over sizing. If your size goes out and uh, sold out, and the only one that's available is one up, then you just buy a little bit bigger. Up, yeah. you, right? can even, you can even size up twice on this, really. 
Like, See, that's what my girls roll, do. Roll your cuff. It can, it can be worn like, down to your knee. Right. This will become the boyfriend cardigan. Yes. Really. I mean, um, I'm just, I know we all have extra, extra smalls out here, so that's not going to work. But um, absolutely, I would get a medium. I would even get a large. I mean, like, we're, we're hoping to start a new dialogue where you're not just one size yeah, across you, the board. You wear the, you, you wear the size that suits you, not the size that people tell you you are. Thank you. Know. you thank you. Our, we had a guest recently say, it, a size is what you wear, not who you are, right? Exactly. You're not a size blah, blah, blah. That was actually Liz McCraw. I just wear that size. So if you want to get two of these, one in the size you normally wear and one up a size or two for a boyfriend look, um, let me just tell you about the silly Easy Pay. It's $19 on Easy Pay to bring home an Irish made, a made in Ireland merino wool sweater. Truly, here's how we shop when things are getting limited. You go to qvc.com or your app, you click on your size, whatever it is, what color or colors are left. And I know it might sound silly, but my grandmother, who was Irish, she's, mm -hmm. she's where the Irish comes in our family. Her family was from Killarney. She used to say it won't eat any bread. So if you're thinking about this <laughs> for phrase. Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever next fall and winter, get it now because we actually has have had well over a thousand ordered. Okay, so you can get $1,300 already gone. $15 off a 75 plus purchase with your Q card and code Q card VIP 24. Wow, I can still see that part of this age. Wow. <laughs> um, so that means you would take $15 off of this price, which is bring it in at about $80 if you use that VIP code and you use your Q card. So we've had 1,400 ordered. You almost got the wool very, for free there. Very, very limited. <laughs> 650 left. But our Irish celebration continues with the McDay Cara Dance School as they bring so much joy and energy to our celebration tonight.